This is your daily briefing. You're most welcome to it. Lyle Thomas of Sky Sports has fallen down the same hole that is occupied by Alistair Gold. What I'm talking about here, being a journalist who obediently publishes what they're told by a football club without holding that information to account. By that, I'm referring to taking um, whatever they've told you and scrutinising it with a bit of wit, a bit of intelligence and perhaps even some analysis. That's kind of the job. And if you're not doing that, you know. So, last word on Spurs really clumsily um, took and spun a quote from the gaffer. And this is just after we've lost, by the way. So, you know, the depths people will will stoop to. Um, Conte said, I know we need a process to go step by step to become a really, really strong team and become title contenders, which is smashing. Very nice. Um, wishful thinking. Yeah, sure. No problem. Um, I don't think you're going to do it with us, mate, because of what we've seen with our own eyes. Um, but Lyle Thomas uh, leapt on this and he said, and they are. Tottenham in the summer were telling potential new recruits that they see an opportunity to usurp the likes of City and Liverpool in the next two or three years if they get it right. Um, transition is expected at one or both and probably witnessing it at LFC. Well, Klopp is in his own little fiefdom of pain. I'd say, to put it into the most simple language possible, he's kind of in a situation, a space that uh, Poch was in at Spurs, where the churn hasn't been there, the get-up-and-go has kind of fizzled away, and the size of the task facing the German probably means that he's going to have to leave Liverpool in order to make, as I said to you before, the ultimate freshen-up, the ultimate sacrifice, and that is that the size of the job's so big that the coach has to go and do it somewhere else. So usurping City and Liverpool sounds great. I mean, yeah, they're positively enchanting. But how does this fairy tale match up with anything Enoch have done over the last 20 years? What indicators do we have based upon even in just the last calendar year alone that Spurs are on a serious pathway to try and eclipse their rivals? The truth is that Conte has been messed around and inflicted upon him numerous players that were not of his choosing. As a result, the football is only occasionally effective and only against much inferior sides and we've seen that certainly in Europe in the Champions League we've seen it domestically in the Premier League um, Arsenal are doing very well Manchester United are improving but neither are anywhere near what a top flight English side should look like yet we play them and we get our pants pulled down a so-so transfer window was marketed by many journalists as a war chest blowout, but very little was actually committed. The best snapshot that provided us with intention is in relation to the junk that had to be hidden or loaned out versus the amount spent on incomings. There was more or less 118 million worth of players that came in and more or less 119 million worth of players that went out or were hidden. Levy spent a million less than the size of the hole in the boat. That's the phrase. As for what the club said when a wooing prospective summer targets, what might one expect them to say? We hope to avoid relegation? Give us a go? Regrettably, we now have reporters, knowingly or otherwise, willfully becoming the mouthpiece of a football club. The next project for Enoch is of improving that retractable pitch system, which we've already been told will require, require additional millions to be invested in the Mark I technology. Of course, that story doesn't fit in with Lyles and the last word on Spurs' sunny Uplands narrative. I don't see it. I would like to see it, but I'm going to need a little bit more than some waffle. <laughs> a little bit more than conjecture. So give Conte some money, let him spend it on players he wants, and who knows, maybe they will play better football, and maybe we will actually get somewhere as a football team. That's it for now. Good luck. Keep it on them.